carry on with our postnatal um, exercises and moves this week and these movements are all very functional and anybody can do them so you can all join in so it doesn't matter um, if you're postnatal or not but these are really good for postnatal postnatal girls so let's just get ourselves moving first of all so place place your feet a little bit wider than your hips if you have had SPD then keep your feet a bit closer together hands on your hips and let's just circle the hips for me that's it let's just sort of check in with them see how they're feeling today and then let's just take that round the other way so just pushing the hips round nice big circle how creaky are we today or not there we go and then forwards and backwards so stick your bottom out push your bottom forward so nice big global movements here that's it and then we're going to go from side to side so push your hips nice big pushes side to side for me there we go so we're going to start and do that all over again but we're going to make it a bit smaller so circle your hips one way so just making that circle as small as you can try and keep your shoulders level and then let's go back the other way so let's tuck round that's it maybe just soften the knees a little bit so that you can get that bigger movement in there and then forwards and backwards with your hips so again looking at opening through the lower back so forwards and backwards and then we're going to just go side to side so these movements are really good for um, pelvic health as well so getting the body moving pulling pushing pulling on different bits of the body different angles of the bones and joints okay so just come back let's take big arms around the front so we're just going to ripple through the spine or sweep the arms so bring the back of the hands together and take the hands out so opening the shoulders opening the chest open the shoulders open the chest so as you're doing this nice fluid movement for me so one more that's it perfect perfect and then I'd like you to just take a side bend from side to side oh yes doesn't that feel good so sometimes when we just haven't done anything for a little bit just movement here is really good so you can see I'm just bringing my thumbs up my up towards my armpit a little bit here so just increasing the weight in the upper body with that arm taking you over a bit more so take the arm over the top that's it and then over to the other side so just sweeping those arms over the top of the head seeing how that feels there we go so last one here perfect well done so just sort of ripple through the through the arms to the shoulders that's it ripple through the shoulders and then just come to standing okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little step forward or a lunge um, but just sort of see how you go with it take see it how you get on with it now this is a really good core functional exercise because when we take it to the floor and we come up again we're having to really use our core to do so so start off by taking a big step and then just stepping back through so again take a big step and see how that is now when you walk you don't walk following your feet you always walk leaning forwards into it so let's just take a little bit of time to get confident into taking that big step forward so then what we're going to do is put our hand on the front knee so step forward hand on that front knee drop the back knee down to the floor just change feet or not as you choose now then the key to coming up is to turn the toes under of the back foot hands on your knee push down on your knee and step through and forwards so again nice big step forwards hands on that knee and then change knees there we go turn the toes under the back foot hand on that front knee and then push the back foot to step through so that pushing through will really help to engage your core also when you're down on the floor so let's just step through with the other knee this time the other foot so step hands on that knee lower down so the reason for doing this is as you as you get um, 
older, as your baby gets older, you tend to start changing them in different places. So it's not just the changing table or the bed. You then start to maybe move a little bit towards, I don't know, the table or a chair, or I say a chair, the sofa, and even the floor. And then it's getting back up off the floor. So you'd have sat down, maybe changed your baby here, and then you want to get up and um, it can be quite a challenge to sort of pick all the things up and your baby. So one way you can do this is to be in this lunge position and you can pop your elbow on your knee. So turn the toes under the back foot. So just imagine I'm holding my baby here. So turn the toes under and then you can just step through. So that might be an idea. Now this is not necessarily a fitness exercise, although a lunge is but it's just a practical way to come up off the floor. So again, you can pop your elbow on that front knee, turn the toes under the back foot, and then you push with that back foot to come up to standing. And there we go. So let's just do a few more of those. So step forwards. So here, you know, you've picked up your baby, and I'm, and I'm not saying you need to do this straight away, but it's something that you could progress this. Or you could pick up something else. You could pick up a, a book or a block or if you've got a weight you can pick up that or a bottle of water or something so turn the toes under of the back foot push through and come up to standing so this will really help with your core muscles this will really help strengthen your glutes and everything like that so push into that back foot as you come up and there we go so this is as i say it's a great way of being able to strengthen up your lower body in a very practical functional way so let's do one more each side then so step forwards lower yourself to the floor and then just turn the toes under of the back foot put your hand on your knee and step through and you'll find after doing this a couple of times you'll find that um, it's quite it's quite a good workout to be honest so turn the toes under of the back foot push onto that knee and through and forwards and there we go so I hope that was helpful.